We have uh, Connor and Fintan McCormick here with something that's very high tech. It's called a 3D matrix printer. Uh, Connor, tell me, what is this? What does it do? Hi, Pat. Well, we've developed a machine that we believe is going to revolutionize what people design and innovate in the future. Quite simply, Air Machine can turn your ideas into a physical reality. So, for example, all you need is to put three reams of paper into the machine here. A4 paper. A4 paper. And on your computer or your PC, once you have your design on the computer, you hit print and you come back a couple of hours later and the machine makes a 3D object of what you can see here on top of the screen. All right, let's have a look at the uh, screen here on this laptop, right? And there is uh, scanned in the image of uh, a man, okay? So you scan that into your PC, it's connected up to your machine, and look at what comes out. This is uh, extraordinary. Yeah. How long did that three-dimensional version of the scanned head take to make? That part took about um, six hours to make. Six hours, yeah. yeah. And you um, don't, it's, it's not just only on a scan. If you can draw it on your computer, or you can download designs from the website, once you can get it onto your, onto your PC, this machine can make it, so anything at all. Now, what, what are the applications for this? I see, alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. <laughs> um, I see he's here now. Yeah. Who would use this? Is this a, another scanned device? Yeah, well, that's taken from a CAT scan. That's actually from a guy's hospital in the UK. So, like, in the area of orthodontics and in the cleft palate, palate uh, you know, if you can get a scan of it, you know, this machine can print it out. Oh, so, suppose you had a scan. Um, and it showed a, a, a bone tumour in sure. the skull, yeah. you could actually reproduce that physically in a yeah. model. Yes, um, and one application would also be as uh, skulls that have defects, uh, you can actually, the surgeons can plan the surgery beforehand. They can print, on out, this. print out the skull, they can get the plates uh, moulded up on the actual model and then it's a lot less invasive. Now, you explain exactly what is happening. I mean, this is all of one piece. You didn't have to glue this together. No. It, the machine did everything. Yeah, the That's machine how does the whole out. thing. Yeah, it, it takes the software that we've developed and it, we've patented this machine. So it, it takes the design that you have, it breaks it up into a number of layers, and then each layer is the same thickness as a sheet of paper. So every, share, every layer that's pulled in is cut So and it glued. mimics what the scan, say a CAT scan, which is taking yeah. slice yeah. after slice yeah. of your brain or whatever exactly, organ in yeah. your body, but you're doing it and putting on paper. Yeah, like right. if you looked at, this, at the software here, you can actually look through the scan. You can see the scans going up and down on the model. Wow. And, and I see here you've got a little architectural model yeah. of a, looks like a, a, nice, uh, a nice house. Sure. Um, what, what is this here, the spiky thing? Well, that's the uh, hep, hepatitis C virus. That's the hepatitis yes. C virus. So it's a. So that's a, obviously your obviously a larger scale, and, yeah. yes, and, and all of that. There's something else I want to draw um, the attention to, and that's this little fella here. Yeah. Now, well, why is that so special? Well, this is the only machine in the world that can make a device like that. That's printed in one in one print, but it has a variable stiffness. So effectively, you, you have a living hinge. A so living can, hinge, and living that hinge. is done in one process in that machine. Yeah. Like no you, once you hit print, the machine does it itself. You don't have to do anything. You just come back and take the part out. And like we've had, uh, like it's a real global response to our product, like over 700 uh, companies in our sales pipeline from like IBM, Boeing, Nickelodeon, Nintendo, especially in the gaming sector. So like anybody really that has an idea, doesn't matter who they are, if they want to visualize that idea as quickly as possible, this is really the type of machine that they need to get that out. For there. something complex like the skull, how long would it take to do that? Yeah, the skull took about 37 hours to make, but there's probably like 700 layers of A4 right. paper. Would, that's would you there. just put it in there and then switch on the machine and walk away? Yeah, yeah. It it's, usually, it's, a, it's, a, it's an overnight type of thing. Or uh, like product designers, for example, if they had four or five different designs, they can put the four or five different designs into the machine and they come back the next morning and they actually they can pick up, for example, the camera. The oh, camera, the case, camera case there. I'm looking here at the uh, the dental application. Sure. Um, th this is a, a mold, and a dentist, instead of sending it off, can actually do it him yeah, or herself? It's a, it's a big thing in the area of orthodontics, uh, again, through Guy's Hospital in the UK. They're looking at, uh, they, they take a scan of your teeth pre and post surgery, so they can show the patient now what your teeth are going to look like after right. the surgery. And, and that camera body that you have there? Yeah, well, that's like, this, this is a, uh, like, it's, a, it's made in two parts. So that was just printed in one go, so just print it like that in the machine and then you take it back out, but it's very accurate, you can see the two parts fitting together. And you can together. see whether the whole thing is going to work. Yeah, right? and you can, you can actually touch the design and feel, I, and I like it. the feel of it. And, and it's made of paper and glue. Um, how much does this machine cost? 
Well, it's, it's retailing at 24,950, but it's, it doesn't compete with a regular printer that you think of like a HP or a Xerox. Oh. It's really, it, 3D printers are kind of a niche market, but this market is just about to expand, rapidly expand. And have you got competitors? We have. We are, two main competitors are in the US, but uh, we are 50 times cheaper to run than our competitor. Plus, because we use paper, and a water-based adhesive, we are the only eco-friendly 3D printer in the world. So Presumably you could scale up and have bigger paper and therefore bigger models? Yes, it would be very easy just to go to um, A3 or A1 paper. All right. Fantastic. And just one yeah, last just thing for the, for the game of rugby tomorrow. We did a predictive score, Ireland 21, Scotland 3. Whoa, there's so. optimism. <laughs> Glad to give that to you. Thank again. you very much. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Absolutely great. Fantastic. All right. Um, www.mcore.com. Technologies.com. Technologies Thank you very That's much, guys. Thanks, Fantastic. All right.